Hi, I'm Trish Stewart and I'm here to give you another quick little tip on something that you can do that you probably didn't think you were capable of doing. And that is stitching in free motion. I can't tell you how many people are really worried about, I can't stitch in free motion because they've tried it and they've gone wonky. Well, here's the, here's the tip. It's okay to be wonky. And actually, I teach this class, right? And here's one of the images. And here's another one. Now look at these. These are weeds, right? They're weeds. So it doesn't matter. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to go up and stitch exactly in this curve because weeds are dried out and they're brown and they're bent over and they're not straight. If you want to learn how to stitch free motion, then stitch on something that doesn't matter. I'm doing this on linen and I'm using a 12 weight thread so it makes me start out slower and then I go down to a lighter weight like a 40 weight when I'm ready to speed up because your, your thread's going to break when you're using a 12 weight. So you want to start with the 12 weight because you want it to be something that's going to make you go slow until you get some muscle memory. This teaches you how to go up and down and sideways and diagonally, how to do squares, how to do points, how to do circles. And here's your tip. If you do something and it looks like, oh no, I went off the edge of this, then do it again and do it a third time. And if you do it three times, it looks like you meant it to be that way. And then you're good, you're gold. You can see back here, these are all done free motion. And not one of these is absolutely perfect, but that's okay, because guess what? None of us are perfect, so it's okay. You be who you are, step out there, be courageous, you can do this. And I'll see you at another quilt week.